Hello students, I hope all of you are doing well. Today we'll discuss what the program testing is. The objective of today's lesson is to learn how to prepare program tests and to test a program. In the first lesson we discussed about steps in solving a task. So today we are on fifth step, which is called program testing or just testing. So what is program testing? It is about to prepare some solutions for the given task and then we compare the already known results with the program's results. If they are same, then the program is allowed to pass the test. For example, if we are asked to prepare a test for this task, so this equation can be solved by quadratic formula. And this formula is called a discriminant formula d is equal to this equation here if d is greater than zero then equation has two solutions if d is equal to zero then the equation has only one solution if d is less than zero then the equation doesn't have any solution suppose we prepare this kind of table for the test so here you can see when d is greater than zero and coefficients of equation are equal to this kind of numbers like a is equal to 1, b is equal to 1, and c is equal to minus 1, then the solution should be like this, x1 is equal to 1 and x2 is equal to minus 2. So we can prepare this kind of tests before checking our program. Okay, for the classwork you try to solve this task. So here it is asked to prepare a test to this equation for these numbers x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, and x is equal to minus 5. Then you need to write a flowchart and the program for this. After that, you can test your program. So, here, all of you pause the video and try to solve the given classwork. After some time, you can compare your solutions with mine. Please pause the video and try to do this task. Okay, I hope all of you have done the task, so let's compare your results with mine. My solution is like this. Firstly, it is asked to prepare a test for the given equation when x is equal to 0, x is equal to 1, and x is equal to minus 5. So when x is equal to 0, we put x here, because here constraint says x is equal to or greater than 0 and we get y is equal to 0. Then when x is equal to 1 we again put here and we get y is equal to 1. When x is equal to minus 5 we put in the second equation because here x is less than 0. So minus 5 is less than 0 so we put here and we'll get y as 25. So we prepared our tests then it is asked to write a flowchart. The so flowchart can be written like this. Here we ask from the user to insert a number 2x. After that inside the ROM we check if x is greater than or equal to 0. If yes, we go to this part, here we calculate y, y is equal to square root x, because it's given here, then if it is no, we go to this part, so here I haven't written another romp where it checks x is less than 0, because it's obvious when x is not greater than 0 or if x is not equal to 0 then of course x will be less than 0 so that's why I haven't written here another ROM where it checks x is less than 0 so in the no part we calculate y is equal to x power 2 because here in the equation it is given like this finally we just print y and finish our program. 
So when you have done a flowchart, it's easy to write a program for the task. So my program is like this. Here inside the program, I declared variables x and y. Then I asked from the user to insert a number for x. After that, we are checking whether that x is greater than or equal to 0. If it is greater than 0, then we are calculating y is equal to square root of x. Because in the flowchart, we are doing the same thing. We are checking x here if x is greater than or equal to 0. If it is yes, we are calculating y is equal to square root of x. The same thing I have written in the program also. If it is no, that means it goes to else part. We are calculating y is equal to power of 2. So same thing inside the flowchart. In the no part, we are calculating y is equal to x power 2. Then in the end, we are printing y. Because in the flowchart, it is given same like this. So here, printing y. So I have done the same thing here. In C++, printing means C out y. So finishing the program. Now let's check how it works. And by the way, we can test our program. Now let's check our program. For that I need to copy this and paste it in this environment. C++ compiler. Now let's compile this and check it. So it is working. Now let's test this program. We, we have already prepared test so here in the test, if I put 0 to x, I need to get 0 for y. So I'll check if I put 0 to x, so I'm getting the same 0. So I passed the first test. Now let's check the second test. So if I put 1, I need to get 1. So I'm getting 1. So it's correct. So I passed the second test. Now let's check the third test. So if I put minus 5, I need to get 25. So it's correct. I am getting 25. That means my program is correct. So let's continue. Now, the homework is this. You try to solve this at home, prepare a test for this task, and then write a flowchart and write a program. After that, you test your program with these numbers. x is equal to 0, x is equal to 2, x is equal to 3, and x is equal to minus 3. Okay? So see you in the next lesson, goodbye for now.